I brought stuff into a little workshop here that we have. This is stuff that came off the pontoon. Uh, that's been painted. That inside covering is going to be um, painted a little bit. The reason why we came into here is it started raining, of course. Not a big deal. I've worked in rain before, but this makes it inconvenient. And I can do a few other things in the meantime. So I got two new sheets on here, partially put in uh, and squared. Uh, the motor mount bolts are through here, right here through the plywood. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and remove these here on the outside here. And I've got a couple metal plates I'm gonna put in here instead, uh, just to assure that the weight of this doesn't start pulling down on that plywood eventually. Um, but I put the bolts in temporarily, put it in place. There's actually two of them that go through here on each side. So we'll do that. I gotta make that um, to go in here. Um, the old one, they put it in here at this height, uh, but the motor actually was this tall above it. And uh, so we really never did rest on it other than for the bolts to do it. It worked, but it didn't really work. So we're gonna change that. Um, this is in place now. Uh, I got these pretty much cables in place that go into the motor. Uh, that, that actually, I gotta go back up towards the uh, console a little more. Uh, so, but they, these are in place now, I think, for the most part, right here. So I gotta put that back together here. Yeah, this, uh, it's bolted to the side of the console up there too, just like that, so. Yay, uh, removing this one next, uh, this one, and that one in there is gonna go up front, I guess. Um, we'll see. It's coming along. Got a couple, three more days. A couple, three more days if it doesn't keep raining, so. Are we gonna make it by the fourth? Yeah. I mean, it floats right now. It's, it's not as pretty as it can be. <laughs> oh, anyway, so there's some benches and stuff that's gonna go on it temporarily. Not this chair, um, but uh, carpet laying over there. Uh, that's about it so far. Yeah. So we got the two panels on. I got these holes all set up and ran the cables through them and put them back through now so we can run the carpet. I'm gonna, I've got the uh, remaining sheets here to go on. Um, I started putting the brackets and the corners back on now uh, to see how they line up. Um, Tramsome is there. I'm gonna make the board in the back yet. So that's getting better. Um, I should have the plywood on and the carpet laid by this evening, Saturday, July 2nd, so we'll see. It's got some pretty rough stuff that has to be used, so we'll see. Somebody asked me, um, the, the steps, I guess, um, so I, 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 I took these two sheets off here to repair this area here initially here to get going to see how much work I really had to do. There was a lot, so I started doing that. I ran these cables through to see how long they really were. Uh, to, this is where the trance, or this is where the council used to sit on the old one. And there was a four foot of a, kind of like a play area up front that there was gated off. We're gonna extend that to the outside edge and we're moving this forward to, uh, Bring some weight up to the center more. Uh, I think we're going to put these benches in the back for now, somehow, uh, and some more chairs up here. It's going to be mainly used for uh, uh, sitting on the water and fishing from, grilling out, uh, taking a few friends out. It's not it's nothing too fancy. I don't think I'm going to go with my traditional pontoon seats on here. I think we're just going to go this route for now and get her on the water. And uh, we'll decide then. Um, there's a few holes uh, that needs patching up here that somebody had used uh, 
I don't know what it is, that um, liquid steel or that, I don't know what it is, so I'm going to wire brush that off and uh, I was aluminum weld that too, so got a lot of work. It's kind of fun though, so. So the easiest way, if anybody wants to know, I found to remove these old rusted bolts that have a round head on them is to put a center punch right there. A couple, couple of those, three times, four times, whatever it takes. And just drill them out. Because I've cut them with a saw, so I've ground them. And this was the most effective way of doing it right here. So This is what we're going to do. So it took about an hour and drilled all these out. Uh, I do gotta remove these two, three plates on this side like I did over there, and these should slide right off. Um, that's what the old deck looks like. <laughs> and the holes are for me, uh, on the other ones I pried on them to pop them loose through the bolts. Um, the new deck's over there, there, so. Anyway, we're getting her, slow but sure. thing I noticed is that some of these rails were off a little bit uh, in my head at least uh, I'm thinking that they need to be every two foot but some were off at a, quite the angle so I don't know how they did it so like this one here there isn't much here um, this is only off a few inches but over there it was super off see the mark over there on the tin you might not see it back and remeasure every time I move it around. There you go. Just a little finish this out here and then throw some plywood on and start bolting it down. Well, that's a hole drilling and bolting. And then uh, after I put all those bolts in, uh, these plates go back on right here. Then after that's all done, I remove everything off of here throw the carpet up there and drape it across and see how it fits well that sits over there uh, in the deck it rained last evening so we just stuck it under there so it's red it's gonna be red and black so we'll see how it goes so I've been putzing with it all afternoon uh, I've got these sheets off of course i to clean these up a little bit. This one's a little loose yet, but these brackets are what uh, push them against the uh, inner uh, latches or whatever you call that. And uh, this one was just floating out here like this all through the years. And every time we hit a big wave, you'd hear that. And I'm going to attach that one too. Why would they leave that loose? I have no clue, but they did. Uh, so uh, someone's calling me over the top of that house. There's some brats being cooked over there. Potato salad. Yeah. Oh, I forgot my beer. A couple days that take off has been raining uh, on and off, but and I thought I'd take a look to see what kind of size deck we had here. So I threw some chairs on here. It's gonna be, uh, it's 24 foot of pontoon. So uh, it should be good. I got all the boards in place. I gotta drill the holes in tonight and bolt that on here and get it ready for the carpet. And the carpet, once again, sits over there on the deck.